What's up dudes, Lady Green Boots here, your Majesty Geeky and Nerdy, and welcome to a, to a brand new episode. Now, I know what you guys are probably thinking, and it's exactly how you would think. The Flash is really blowing up everywhere within popularity, including in comics, the TV series, and everything else, he is just going skyrocketed. Um, and a lot of news that we have to do with Wally West, who is my personal favorite Flash, as well as a lot of other people's, and for definitely good reasons. But I'm not going to talk about Wally here. Um, I went down through the news before I pressed record for uh, this episode, and the, wow. There's a lot of news revolving around Wally West. Um, not sure if I will do all of them in the one-shot deal, what DC is doing to Wally West, but maybe. Um, we will have to see how that goes. Um, but anyway, the flash here is, I'm pretty sure this is Billy, uh, Billy Allen, is running into a very powerful ally in a new timeline. As, who is it? I have absolutely no idea. Uh, we will have to find out. Personally, I'm just going to take a guess at a few people who it is, because according to uh, CBR, CBR, it is Flash runs into Future State's happiest heroes. I'm going to take a guess, and I'm going to make a few guesses before I actually check out the news of who it could be. Um, number one, it could be Impulse. It could be um, Barry Allen's um, I forget who Impulse actually is. I do have a DC comic book somewhere. Um, but Impulse is Bart, uh, is, I believe, Bart Allen. So it would make sense if it is his son, if it is Impulse. Um, who Impulse was also on Young Justice as well. Um, it could be. And also Impulse was known to be a superhero who is actually really, really, like, positive, happy, he's always in a good mood and everything. Another superhero who could be, and somebody who is known for being a happy hero, is probably, more than likely, Shazam, or Captain Marvel. Um, Billy Baston has always been a very happy hero. Um, the Joff Johns one, even though it has a serious tone, still has that, you know, tone that, um, Shazam was always known for in the comics and everything, so this could, it could be, um, Shazam as well, it could also be Impulse. And one final person who I think that he could be running into for somebody who is known to be a happy hero is the first Flash, Jay Garrick. Now, I don't th know if Jay had been seen in DC Comics yet or whatever, but in the past, Jay and Wally and Barry, they all teamed up together very quite, um, Religiously, actually, um, but we will look at this. So it is Barry Allen. So um, I think it said Barry Allen is handing over the mantle to Wally West. So Wally is going to be the Flash again. So let's take a look at what they're going to do with uh, <clears throat> what are you doing here? The Flash just ran into one of one of Future State's happiest heroes. While locked in a time dream to Flash, while we went, encountered a Future State hero who ended up being a powerful ally. Who could it be? Uh, okay. So this is for a lot of people who are fans of the Flash. Uh, and comic books, that is. So, warning. The following contains spoilers for the Flash, number 768, by Jeremy Adams, Brandon Peterson, Margot Santucci, David LaFuente, Mike IT, I, ITA, ITA, Eref Prianto, Louis Guerrero, and Steve Wands, which is now on sale. So, this, <clears throat> it reads, The events of Future State introduce plenty of new char characters, both heroic and villainous, who have hung huge impact in the DC Universe. This includes Gold Beetle, Gold Beetle now, a fun-loving goofball from a timeline who ended up being one of the last people fighting against DC's new universal threat. I wonder if Gold Beetle is basically an amalgamation of Booster Gold and um, Blue Beetle because those two characters, let me just talk about this real quick. Uh, if you look at Booster Gold and Blue Beetle's past, um, they both work together really well. I hope this doesn't mean that they're getting rid of Jaime because Jaime was really one of the coolest characters introduced um, into DC Comics. So I'm hoping that they don't get rid of Jaime. Um, <clears throat> Gold Beetle. From Future State, just got a chance to meet the time displaced Wally West, setting her up to have a very own present day DC hero. So, it is now going to be 
um, from a new female hero who is an amalgamation of Boot the Gold and Blue Beetle. That is pretty cool, but you're getting rid of Boot the Gold and Jaime Reyes, two of DC's most beloved and popular characters. I'm bummed. I'm excited, but I'm bummed about this now. Uh, let's see, what did it say? After deciding to give up his powers and try to live a, wall, a regular life, Wally West turned, into, turned to Barry Allen for help in his, and depowering him and cutting him for the speed force. To do so, the pair move at top speed so Barry can disconnect from Wally from the force, but in the process of trying to do so, a mysterious surge of energy strikes Wally, causing him to disappear, as well as the seemingly costing, costing every creature on Earth the power working with Mr. Terrific. Oh, Mr. Terrific is in this. Barry is able to locate... Wally in the crime dream, specifically in prehistoric time, and trying to stay ahead of a raptor that Wally accidentally empowered with the speed force. Um, although Wally ultimately escaped the time period, and he ends up overshooting it to present day and landing in a distant future, and the body of Impulse. So, Impulse is also in this. So, I was right. Uh, Bart Allen Impulse is also in this as well. So, this is, um, interesting. Also, Wally putting the speed force inside of a velociraptor that's pretty funny i won't lie that it seems like something that would happen to flash uh okay so let's see before wally can truly adjust he is confronted by what appears to be a massive dominator only to get some surprisingly back up from the future from the future he she's a hero from the future good beetle who was introduced to the future state as inheritor to both Boot the Gold and Blue Beetle's legacy. The Gold Beetle traveled across time to do so alongside her robotic companion Skeet, while it is unknown exactly what time period she hailed from, it could potentially fall out to the same era as Impulse. So, uh, it talks about Gold Beetle for the rest of it, but yeah, we now have a new character, a new legacy character. But not just for one character, for two. You have Blue Beetle and you have Auto Boot to Gold. And again, I'm so bummed and depressed knowing that they got rid of Jaime Reyes and they got rid of Boot to Gold in this series. Now, of course, Booster and Blue Beetle have worked a lot together in the past. Um, they quite teamed up a lot in the comic books. And Jaime was a great successor of the Blue Beetle um, Scarab and also a great a great predecessor of superhero for his powers. Basically, his comic books were like the variation of Batman Beyond. It's a he, it's a, it would be like without Batman. He's trying to learn uh, the the rings without nobody showing him to do so. And Boots the Gold was one person that helped him, you know, kind of train him in a sense, um, alongside other characters. And Boots the Gold has always been a very popular. Uh, DC Superhero as well as in comedy, not just really in comedy, but also in the fact that he was one of the most famous um, auto parody superheroes as well. He was just a guy, a janitor of the 25th century who would board, store super suit, and just went back in time and had fun. But the thing is with Boots, though, he learned like the consequences as he went along in his adventure. I'm kind of excited to see what Gold Beetle could do. Um, but does this also mean that DC is going to combine two characters and give them a unique name and have them be a legacy hero for two people? Um, see, that's the thing. That's, that's like something that really could be exemplified or whatnot. Um, I kind of was wrong. I was right in a way. But I was wrong in a way. Impulse will be in the story, but it is not Impulse who he's teaming up with. It's a brand new superhero called Gold Beetle. Um, she does seem like a, like a cool character. She does look like a um, young African-American female from the picture that I saw on the website of her. So, and she will also be sporting a uniform that is a collaboration of Boot the Gold and Blue Beetle. So it would be kind of cool to check out. Um, I am just somehow just really depressed. I'm excited to see her role, but you get rid of two of my favorite superheroes from DC. I don't know exactly how to feel about that. I'm not going to rant about it or anything. Otherwise, you know, it could go on forever. But um, I kind of want to also hear what happened to Booster 
and to Burrito because in Impulse's future, if I'm not mistaken, a lot of superheroes died in Impulse's future. And Impulse's future is not exactly one to be taken lightly. Like, he has a very dark and depressing uh, future state of DC uh, storyline. And um, there are a lot of, like, really good sides of DC and then really bad sides. And they're all different, you know, universes and parallel worlds and whatnot. So, I'm really hoping that they can explain, like, what happened in the final steps behind it. Like, maybe she was um, being rescued by both Booster and Blue Beetle. They lost their lives somehow to an enemy. And she ends up taking up both of their mantles and combining them together. It doesn't look like that she had the Blue Beetle Scarab, so that is not something that she had done. Um, but I'm very excited to know what it is. So anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, if you guys know about the Gold Beetle, let me know in the comments down below what you think about her. Do you think that she'll be a very good predecessor to um, the Blue Beetle and Gold and boot to gold standards, or do you think that she's going to be a huge flop? I personally think that she might be a huge success for DC. I think this is DC trying to compete with Ms. Marvel and um, Miles Morales from Marvel, so this could be their way of trying to incorporate on that by combining two characters together, but we'll just have to see how it goes and see how she handles as a character. So thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and for more in geeky and nerdy pop culture, and also for news and other vlogs that are coming up on the channel, be sure to stay subscribed. So thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, this is Lady Universe signing out and saying, maybe, Bo maybe Gold Beetle will be a turn of events. I'm so depressed. Until next time.